How are you? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. So today, I'm in the weirdest mood tonight. I like, I know I have to film and I know I need to get stuff done, but I've been doing so much with the house that I'm just like exhausted. Um, so <laughs> if I'm really low energy in this video, I apologize. I have to film another video after this. So I'm trying to conserve some of my energy, but I have some fun stories for you guys. So stick around. Today, this tutorial Tuesday, we are going to be doing, it's more like a talk tutorial Tuesday. If you're new, if this isn't what you thought it was going to be. I hope you still like it. Um, today, we're going to be playing with the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 palette. I've had this palette for a while now. I've had this for just about under a year. Um, and a lot of you guys have been asking for Tutorial Tuesday with this palette. This is probably my most requested video to do with a Tutorial Tuesday. Like, everybody wants to know about this palette. And I get it. I get wanting to know. I feel a little weird about using super bougie products sometimes because I feel like I know that this is not accessible to everyone and I don't want you guys to feel like weird. <laughs> like, I don't know. But um, I do think it's a really pretty palette and I think we could create some really pretty looks with it. So I'm gonna just zoom you guys in and get it started. It's the first time I'm really looking at my makeup right now and I don't know if I like it. Well, too late now. <laughs> so this is the Mothership 5 palette up close. This is what she looks like. Got some really beautiful shades in here. These two shades on the end and this pink shade right here are three of the most unique. I've never found any shades like these, so I definitely want to incorporate these a little. It's so funny because on camera this looks green, but in person it's like pink. So funny. Um, anyway, this is like, this quad right here is amazing. And these are also nice, but I think these are the reason you would like buy the palette. Um, so we're just gonna get started. My only real gripe with this palette is that there, there is like a lack of matte shades and the matte shades you do have aren't really my favorite which for the money I think they should be uh your favorite mattes ever but they're not um I'm gonna go in with this just light brown shade kind of the crease shade I think this is a palette that pairs well with other palettes but when used on its own it is a little I don't want to say boring because those shimmer shades are just so unique and beautiful but it's definitely not like phenomenal these shadows are also hyper pigmented which is good but you see how I I, like barely touched it and it's already all over my eye they take a second to blend out so you have to really enjoy blending <laughs> to make this work for you how's everyone's week going um mine's going good so right now my whole life is being consumed by the house it really has been for the past uh six months but it's like even more <laughs> i'm more consumed about it now the past like month charles and i have been there there's not been a day where we really haven't been there in the past month at least to do something um, so we've been there pretty much every day the past month and things are really starting to come together, which is super exciting. We, for the longest time, our kitchen was just a barren wasteland. Um, and getting the kitchen done on time for the move-in was kind of the most stressful thought for me because Charles was kind of of the mindset of like, well, if we don't get it done, like we can live without a kitchen. And it's like, yeah, you can, but it sucks. Um, like you technically can live without a kitchen, but like, first of all, it's gonna be expensive because we're gonna have no way to cook food. So it would cost more. Like we're gonna have to eat out for everything. You have no way to store food, so you can't buy any food. It just wasn't ideal to not have the kitchen done when we moved in so I took it of my own initiative and really busted um, busted my ass there's no better way to put that I really busted my ass the past couple weeks to like help get that done my dad actually came up for a few days and he helped us our bathroom is basically done which is super nice and he helped us just kind of finish that off and he also helped us rich the way the kitchen floor was i think i talked about this before but it was like the linoleum and we found the hardwood so we finished the hardwood um and then we had to do the walls and bless the people that lived in this home before us because like i know it was like charles it's like charles's family but they did something to those walls that i cannot possibly understand why anyone would do it um i'm gonna go in with this deeper brown shade right here this matte brown and just kind of with a smaller fluffy brush and focus it really on my crease just to deepen the crease a lot so what they did was they had like drywall or over all the walls they had like their own separate drywall and what they did was instead of just like leaving it like drywall they wanted to make it look like it was fake brick underneath the drywall like they painted over 
brick. This is the only thing I can assume that they were thinking to do because I have pictures. Every single wall in the kitchen and the bathroom had it. So they took like a putty knife into the whatever they put on the wall and literally just drew straight lines and like tile like lines into the wall, but painted over them. So there was just like, there's just these lines everywhere on the house. And that's kind of been the biggest challenge, honestly, with even the, with everything, like with the kitchen, with everything and with the bathroom was what do we do about these lines? <laughs> because they don't look good and they don't make any sense. We can't just paint over them because uh, then we'll just have more lines. So what we ended up doing in the bathroom was we decided to go with Wayne's coating. I wasn't sure about the Wayne's coating just because, uh, well, because it was either that or like we had to tear down the wall and rebuild the wall and nobody wanted to do that. We don't have the time to do that. It's expensive. Like we're at the end of this project right now. So it's not, we didn't want to take on some whole new big thing. Um, so we ended up going with Wayne's coating and literally just covering all of that in the bathroom with wainscoting and honestly I actually really like how it looks I wasn't sure if I was going to like the effect that it had because I just didn't know you know you never know until you actually can see it and because we picked our tile before we knew we were doing the wainscoting I felt like with the tile it might have looked a little too busy it didn't it actually looks really good um, and I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised with that. So that was a really good positive. And then in the kitchen, what we did was Charles and I, this took us, I'm not kidding, I think it took us like eight or nine days just with sanding and spackling. We individually spackled each line that they drew into the wall to make it flat with the wall. I'm going in with a really like tacky brush, like a uh, pointy brush, I would call it, uh, with this deeper purple. And I'm gonna really pack that on the outer lid and that's all the mats, just so you know. All three mats I just used, that's all of them. Um, that took us just so long. We had to, just sanding all of that down, it literally, I can't, I posted some stuff on my Instagram story, but I feel like I can't adequately express to you guys how much dust was just coated. Like, dust just coated the house. Like, it, it, I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. We literally, my car is covered in a thin layer of dust, the inside of my car just for me and Charles going like sitting in it after being in the house like there was so much dust so that sucked but now that part's over and now what we're working on uh the other day we got all of our alliances and countertops delivered I'm so excited we're finally at the point where we can start mounting cabinets and we're at our we mounted our first cabinet today and I really almost burst into tears I never thought we'd get here because this has just been such a long process and we move in in literally less than two weeks so it's kind of crunch time where like everybody's kind of scrambling to get stuff done and Charles's stepdad and his mom and my dad have been like the biggest help and my mom's been great for emotional support <laughs> She's really done much with the house. She's been really good for emotional support, but we got those mounted We got a couple mounted. There was a little bit of a confusion and a mess up and it was my fault um, But we were going to hang so what happened is I think I'm gonna go in with this really pretty pink gold shifty shimmer Because I think this is my favorite shade in the palette. It's really beautiful and I'm just gonna take so I can use this one from Anastasia I'm gonna take my uh, Rich Luxe Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day <laughs> setting spray. Uh, this is the, which is, which one is this one? This is like the mint one. Ch mint chocolate chip. This has been my favorite one. There's also a creamsicle. I got sent this in PR. I'm a beauty guru. Um, no, I, they sent it to a lot of people and I got the creamsicle and the mint chocolate chip. And I have a mini mint chocolate chip that I keep on my desk. The mint chocolate chip has been my favorite because it smells so good, but this also smells amazing and they're very, very cute. 10 out of 10 would recommend. But I'm gonna take that and just spray it and then go into that pink glittery shade. I hope you can like adequately see on camera how freaking beautiful this shade is. So what happened was our ceilings are screwed. Um, <laughs> they're so messed up because the old cabinets were hanging directly onto the ceiling. Because of that, when we ripped them off, they have like dents and issues and problems. And so the plan was to mount the cabinets to the ceiling because the thought was, okay, if we do that, there's like no fallout too. That's the best part about this palette. Like no fallout. This is such a shimmery, glittery shade, no fallout. So we were gonna make our cabinets go all the way up to the top so we could avoid having to redo the ceilings. But then we got the cabinets and they were way smaller than I thought they were gonna be. And that was like a me thing. Like I didn't go with them to buy the cabinets because I had an orientation, but I couldn't be there. 
um, when they bought them. And so I didn't really, I picked out the color, obviously I was there for the preliminary stuff, but I wasn't there for like the final meeting. And I didn't really understand how small, they're not small, but they're just normal sized cabinets. We didn't get like extra long cabinets to accommodate the fact that like we were putting it all the way up on the ceiling. And our kitchen is the tallest room in the house. We still can't figure out the architect on that, like why the kitchen is the tallest room in the house, but it is. And so um, when they put one up there, it was just ridiculously high. Like I'm five, I think I'm like five, six. I don't really know how tall I think I'm five, six, but I'm like five, six. And um, I couldn't even reach the bottom shelf. Like, you know how the, a, a cabinet has like the three shelves? I couldn't even reach the bottom one. Like I could barely get my hand into the bottom shelf. And Charles, who, bless his soul, but he's so sick and tired of doing work. He just wants to be done. He was like, well, we'll just get a step stool and you can just use a step stool. And I was convinced for a minute and I was like, okay. And then they hung it and I was just like, this is not this looks so weird it looked like it was in the sky like it looked so weird and the bottom cabinets weren't going to be risen enough to compensate so it was just going to be like three feet of space in between the counter and the top cabinet which is really high um and so i'm spraying another kind of flat brush and i am going to go in with this golden shade here and i'm going to kind of pack that like here to give kind of a you know what I mean? Um, so it, it did not look good and I started looking up articles and it said the highest that a cabinet really should be is like 54 inches from the ground. Like the bottom of the cabinet shouldn't really be higher than 54 inches and I measured our cabinet and it was 70 inches <laughs> off the ground like it was literally six feet off the ground and i was just like this is absolutely ridiculous i can't even function in this but they had already hung the first one and i felt really bad but i was like i was like i'm so sorry i was like i can't live like this <laughs> we're gonna have to figure something out with the ceiling and switch this around because there's it was it just looked ridiculous like it was way too high and charles was kind of annoyed he had a right to be i was I should have said, I should have like spoken my mind before they hung the first cabinet because we're doing the cabinets ourselves. We're hanging them ourselves and Charles' stepdad is helping us. And I should have like said something before they hung it because I knew it was screwed up. But I guess it didn't like click how bad it was until I saw it hanging there. And then I was just like, I can't. Um, but then later he told me he's glad I said something because he said I was right. And that never happens. Um, <laughs> literally ever. So that was exciting. That was a win for me. Um, I'm going to go in with just the two brown shades. I'm just going to kind of mix those together and do my lower lash line. This look is kind of boring, but like, oh my God, if you, I hope the glitter is picking up on camera. It's so freaking glittery and beautiful. Um, the thing too is the whole time the kitchen has been the room. I think I've talked about this. The kitchen has been the room that has stressed me out the most because you ju it just like I couldn't visualize it. Like there was no way there was no way to adequately visualize how it was going to look because we never got to see like the cabinets and the countertops together. We never really got to see the floor with the cabinets, the paint with the cabinets. Like you had to kind of guess based on what you remembered. And that was really stressful because with everything else, I've been able to like see everything before we do it. And I couldn't with this room. Um, but now that everything's in, the appliances are in, like everything's in, I'm starting to visualize it a lot better. And it's making me a lot more excited. I'm really excited. Um, all right, I'm going to put on mascara, just eyeliner and everything. And then we'll be right back for the final reveal. <laughs> Okay. I love how this turned out. It's so pretty. I did put a little bit of this like white to green shift sparkle right on the inner corner just to add a little, you know. Um, I love how this turned out though. I think it's so pretty. I love how sparkly Pat McGrath's shadows are. They're absolutely the prettiest things on the planet. I topped it off with one of her little lipsticks. I got like the mini pack. This one's called Omi. This is like one of my favorite lipstick formulas, but I'll never buy the full size ones because they're so expensive. <laughs> I can't justify it. When you can buy a mini three pack for like $25. So <laughs> that's what I do. Um, we're going to do a quick little monetage. Um, we're going to do that real quick and then we will be back with final thoughts. Okay. Echo, play Lover by Taylor Swift on Spotify. I can't find Lover by Taylor Swift on Spotify. What do you mean? Okay, Google, play Lover by Taylor Swift on Spotify. Sure, asking Spotify to play Taylor Swift. It's been my jam lately, okay. Okay, I'm done. Okay, friends, so 
that is going to be the video for today. My final thoughts on this palette, listen, I do think it's beautiful. I don't think it's worth $125. I used to think it was, and I think that was just me justifying like the price. Cause whenever you or someone you love spends a lot of money on something, you want to be like, oh, it's justified for the price. You know what I mean? I felt that way about Natasha Denona shadows a long time ago too. But to be perfectly honest, while I think these, like this quad of transformative shades are beautiful, unlike anything else, I do not think it is worth it for the palette as a whole. I wish she would come out with just quads of these really crazy shades like this because I think that would be so much more worth it and it would probably be way less expensive. Um, I do think it's beautiful. I mean, the packaging is so sleek, so stunning, so heavy. I could literally like, ugh, like <laughs> just bash a robber over the head with this and like do some damage. This thing has weight to it. It's beautiful. But I, at the end of the day, like don't, don't put yourself if you have the money and you're like why not go for it like it's good but if you don't don't like put yourself don't like do one of those payment plan don't do like sezzle that stupid payment plan system which is so ridiculous <laughs> don't do that to get this because it's not worth it however this made reminded me these little mini lipsticks from her are fantastic and they're pretty affordable well affordable but they last a long time i use these a lot and i have barely made a dent on them like it's a decent amount of product for like even though it's small it's decent um so that's that on that um i hope you guys like this video if you did please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither honestly just so happy you're watching me thank you so much for being here my merch my social media and everything i'm wearing on my face will be linked down below and yeah i love you guys so so much and i will see you in the next one bye